Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a fantastically awesome day so far. My day is going pretty good. As you can see, it is really hot here. It's actually really humid as well. We had a big storm last night at around 2 a.m. Well, this morning, and I got up ran around to quickly close windows because I love my windows wide open at night and I smashed my knee into a chair and my knee is swollen up like a balloon today. It's quite painful, but every cloud has a silver lining. I managed to get the windows closed before the house got soaked. So yeah, win. I'm counting it as a win. Uh, anyway, today we are reacting to stupid Yellowstone behavior and I would have been up on this list, I think, if I'd ever been there because when we did a video on some of the best national parks, uh, I asked the question, I wonder if you could swim in some of those hot springs in Yellowstone and a few of you guys well a lot of you guys commented and we're like Jono it would literally cook you so yeah I would have got that idiot award I would have probably been in this video so thankfully you let me know before I got there anyway before we get into today's video if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you're feeling extra frisky you may as well give the video a like as well I do have a buy me a coffee page and a patreon page link down in the description if you want to check that out to help support the channel that we freaking awesome and without further ado let's check out stupid Yellowstone behavior Cheryl, another Yellowstone visitor stuck his head in the Old Faithful geyser. <laughs> Yellowstone visitor. A Yellowstone visitor banned for cooking chickens in thermal <laughs> That can't be real. That's a new one. All right, so we just wanted to have a little fun with this video here. We have read a lot of silly headlines about a Yellowstone visitor did something really dumb. And we it reminds us of the Florida man theme, or the Florida man meme that you're probably familiar Florida with. Man. Everybody Google Florida man followed by your birthday. Oh, okay, I think I've done this. I can't remember what the result was. Uh, I'll do it at the end of the video. I'll do Florida man and my birthday at the end of the video and we'll see what mine is. And we think that a Yellowstone visitor is right up there with Florida man. <laughs> so we really wanted to go over 10 Yellowstone visitor stories. None of these are meant to really be vicious and, and make fun of people necess necessarily nor did, are we covering any deaths that are tragic okay so we just wanted to have a little fun at the end of the year that's just general human knuckle-headed behavior that we all happen to participate in from time to time yeah so, anybody could do it. yes so now i like that attitude you know they're not going to show anything too disgusting or horrible and they re they they realize and they know that everyone makes stupid mistakes number 10 2016 a couple saw a bison calf that they thought looked cold and they were worried about it so oh they put this bison God. calf in the, the calf in the back of their SUV and drove it right on over to the ranger station <laughs> unfortunately the the herd wouldn't take the calf back the little guy ended up being euthanized oh, it was kind of a sad story oh, no. i think this one number 10 just because those taurus heart was in the right spot the rest of these are kind of self-serving stories but at least these ones hold on they, they got the poor little guy euthanized <laughs> that is horrible i thought they were gonna say he was abandoned and they had to bottle feed him and raise him like that nope they euthanized they euthanized the euthanized right him place. number nine is in 2020 apple maps led people to the wrong town when they typed in Yellowstone to their GPS. So they they typed in, got up in the morning, typed in Yellowstone to head to the park, and it took them to this little tiny farming community. <laughs> this town got so many visitors that on a fence post in the town, they put yellow stones. They got some rocks Brilliant. and painted them yellow and stacked up some yellow stones there so people would... Unfortunately, Apple Maps has Yellowstone National Park incorrectly loaded. Click on the green tree and, and the directions are correct. You clicked on the red pin with the incorrect directions. Google Maps is correct. We are trying desperately to get Apple Maps, uh, Apple Maps to correct this huge mistake. <laughs> At least they put a Yellowstone there. See, well, there's Yellowstone. And, <laughs> That's and they brilliant. And they're saying you're not in Yellowstone. And so um, this one struck my funny bone. And, and I really think... Look, here's, there's a lesson here. You, you cannot just rely on your GPS. You need to really use a little bit of common sense. And I have to say, this is something that... Someone once told me common sense is just not that common anymore, so... You need to really use a little bit of common sense. And I have to say, this is something that I totally could do. I will never <laughs> you forget and me the both. day that Matt came home with a GPS saying he'd found the gadget to save our marriage. <laughs> okay. I literally keep an atlas in my truck... Just so I can get a get my bearings. Okay. Okay. Number eight. Drone flown into Grand Prismatic Spring. A couple of guys had well I guess a guy had his drone was flying it and wanted to get an awesome bird's eye view of the spring, but instead it 
flew right into that spring. And this spring is over 200 feet deep. I think oh, that one. 300 feet deep. So beautiful. It's super deep. 300 feet wide, though. And and they have no idea where this drone ended up. They tried flying helicopters over the spring. They've considered a remote control submarine. But to this day, no one knows what happened to the... It's at the bottom of the spring. To the, to the drone. They, they don't know if it's disintegrated if it's still hanging out there and and it is a problem because when things get thrown into the springs or geysers it can affect them so they're not what they used to be hmm. okay number seven in 2020 yellowstone closed at the beginning of the coronavirus mm. pandemic and somehow a woman snuck into the park and was meandering around the hot springs near old faithful and she backed up <laughs> and fell into a hot spring and scalded herself and she actually got out and uh, drove up the road for a while, and then the park rangers kind of tracked her down, and they had to take her to the hospital. Oof. But uh, And I know that a lot of people are going to be like, that's, that's karma, right, for sneaking in there. And I guess maybe it kind of is. But, uh, but this, this backing into a hot spring, like you're looking at something and you just back up and fall into a hot spring, is, is not actually new. That's been happening ever since the park opened. <laughs> okay, number six peeing into Old Faithful. Now, what blows me away about That's this story disrespectful, is that in, 2000, Look at this idiot. <laughs> in 2018, a man was found kind of lollygagging around Old Faithful. He was laying down. He was looking into it. People were getting concerned that he ended up peeing in front of everyone right into Old Faithful. But the interesting thing about the story, it's not the first time someone's peed into Old Faithful. No. In 2009, Why? two park employees, not rangers, but park employees, oh. yeah were were fired because they decided to to urinate into the old faithful geyser okay number five to outdo the the urinating is people sticking their head into old faithful geyser so this happened in 2018 and it happened again in 2019 somebody stuck their head into old faithful if you're wondering the water inside there is 200 degrees fahrenheit and the steam is up around 350 degrees fahrenheit and before you think that we're just getting dumber as a society, back in the 1920s, in the decade of the 1920s, there are 10 injuries related to sticking your head, sticking their heads <laughs> into old... All right, I'm not that stupid. I wouldn't stick my head in there. Now that I know, I wouldn't even touch it. But like, I wasn't sure because here, like I think I mentioned, here in Slovakia, there's quite a few natural hot springs that you can go and sit in there and chill. It's quite nice, especially in the winter. The only downside is when you get out, uh, as a man, you end up with two belly buttons because something just gets out of there. It's too cold. Um, but yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't realize they were all as hot as they are, which now that I know, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even consider touching them <laughs> or peeing in them <laughs> or putting my head so in them. This, this stupid behavior has been going on for a long time. <laughs> okay. Number four, bison-related incidences. Uh, let me things. tell you something. Oh my God! You don't just go to Yellowstone to view the wildlife. You go oh, to Yellowstone to view oh, the people viewing the wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to look very far to see stupid human behavior near wildlife. And um, and this year in oh, 2020, a 72-year-old woman was gored by a bison because she was within 10 feet of this bison trying to take a picture. And it wasn't that she just went up to the bison and then backed away. No, no. She approached the bison multiple times until the bison gored her. I mean, and we... We have this in South Africa. It happens quite often. At least it used to. There's actually a video here on YouTube. It's pretty graphic. I will warn you. There's signs everywhere. Stay in your car. Do not get out your car. There's lions, leopards, rhino, hippos, cheetah, hyenas in a lot of these parks. Yeah, the big five buffalo. Don't get out of your car. Some guy got out of his car. He wanted to get a close-up. It's a really old video camera as well. He went to try to get a close-up of a pride of lions, and he was sneaking up. And as he was sneaking up, a lion came from behind and grabbed him. It's all caught on his own video camera. Um, he was actually killed, uh, from what I can remember anyway. And it happens quite a lot. And then the, the worst part is, a lot of the time, the the like community, the, the, the worldwide... Like, they call for the animals who've... who've eaten someone technically to be destroyed because oh they're, they're dangerous no that's their home like stay in your freaking car don't touch the wildlife it's it's crazy she approached the bison multiple times until the bison gored her i mean and we've all seen the video that's on YouTube the, of the girl 
like falling down and playing dead with the bison. I mean, there there's just so many bison related stupid human Oh, and then there's one more. The guy challenging the bu the buffalo <laughs> on the road. So they're stuck in a buffalo. What an and idiot. Gets out of his car and <laughs> what an idiot. Buffalo and... Yeah, he was challenging the buffalo, but the man was was fined for more than just challenging the buffalo. He happened to be drunk, so we got a I was gonna say. ticket. He got his seatbelt off ticket. Okay, number three is also happened this year in 2020. A man was charged for uh, ruining federal property when he was digging for treasure in the Fort Yellowstone graveyard. So oh, all sorts no. of strange things that are going on here. First of all, there's a graveyard in Yellowstone. Okay, that's news. And then uh, <laughs> from <laughs> people that died back in the 1800s when, when the park, when the military was there. And then why is a man digging for treasure in this graveyard? Digging. Well, oh, th man. there's a there was a relatively famous treasure hunt going on for about a decade called the Fen Treasure. And uh, an artist dealer in New Mexico hid a treasure in the Rocky Mountains, wrote a poem, a cryptic poem to uh, tell people kind of where it was, and then just said, okay, go hunting for it. And it was worth about, a, some people estimate, $1 to $2 million. So people were hunting all over the Rockies hmm. for this treasure for 10 years. Multiple people died while hunting for this treasure. This fellow um, was convinced it was in Fort Yellowstone and was digging in the graveyard for it. <laughs> okay. Number two. This is one of my favorites. This was three adult men, not stupid teenagers, but adult men ages 40 to 50, like our range, that decided to go camping in Yellowstone and to cook some. They got a burlap sack, put two raw chickens in it, <laughs> and put it in a hot spring to cook it. <laughs> <laughs> and this was another case where the Yellowstone Rangers were not messing around. Um, each of those guys got between a $500 and $1,200 fine. <laughs> they have been... For like boiled chicken. Okay, I don't know if they had it in a, one of those boil in a bag with a load of seasoning and stuff. But still, oh man, boiled chicken just does not sound appetizing. Banned from the park. Oh, and damn. And they spent a couple, two of them spent two nights in jail. So, uh -huh. yeah. Don't cook your chickens in a hot spring. Bring your own cookware and, and heat source. Most of the people who trespass under these hot springs or do weird things like flying drones into hot springs uh, get a fine and get banned from the park, and some of them get jail time. Yep. Hmm. All right, you ready for number one? Number one. This wins the Rotten Egg Award. We're calling it the Rotten Egg Award because... Yellowstone, Yellowstone smells, smells like rotten eggs yeah. sometimes with the, the <laughs> hot springs and all that. Hey, so does Slovakia where I live because we got paper mill here, Mondi paper mill, and it absolutely freaking stinks when the wind changes here. Yeah? Sometimes it does smell like rotten eggs. This year, 2020, you I know thought it's the treasure separate, story was over, but it's not actually. So in January of 2020, sorry, you thought the treasure story was over, but it's not actually. So in January of 2020, Another man was hunting for that fen treasure in Yellowstone, and he was convinced it was at the bottom of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. That is. So in January, he got a snowmobile permit. He rode into the park, and he, he and a friend, and he repelled down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. This is in January when it's really deep winter and heavy like snow. Like zero degrees. Yeah, and he ran out of rope, and so uh -oh. he ended up stranded at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. So they had to call the rangers. The rangers came with uh, snowmobiles and helicopters and stuff to, to save this fellow. And <laughs> and again, the purpose of this video is not to pile on these people individually or even to get a bunch of comments where people are saying, oh, there's there's so many dumb, stupid people out there. It really isn't. Yeah, but there is, um, though. I actually... There is, though. There's a lot of dumb people in the world. I'm one of them. I've made stupid mistakes. Oh, there's, there's so many dumb, stupid people out there. It really isn't. Um, I actually <laughs> read a lot of... A lot of this guy's story, and he was pretty contrite, but he was really convinced that the treasure was down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Uh, he ended up having to serve some time, about a week in jail. He oh, got a shit. fine. He got banned from the park for five years. Um, the poor guy got coronavirus before he could even serve his time in jail. He was from Illinois, I believe, or Indiana, I believe. And uh, anyway, he actually seemed like a very decent guy. Okay, I'm not trying to pile on him, but but that was pretty epic. Uh, Repelling down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon in the winter to find a treasure. I thought that was great. Yes, and I just think it's the perfect combination. You know, Yellowstone is like geysers, wild animals, canyons, 
and then you get out in nature and you're free and your inhibitions are gone. <laughs> and I think something just gets into people when they get into these national parks. So we they want to like tell such, you thank you. They look like such a lovely couple, don't they? For watching our, and, and sharing. Yeah, they finished. They do look like such a lovely couple. Like They just look like down-to-earth, awesome people. Lovely video. I love that. Um, yeah, it happens all over. It happens here as well. We had it last, was it last year, where uh, some Polish climbers actually died. They passed away on my high touches here because they went off the path, buggered off up the mountain, and they couldn't get found. We were actually at the high touches that day, and the rescue helicopters were going around, and they managed to find one of them um, alive still. And I, I can't remember if it was three or two, and two people, I know two people passed away. It was horrible. It was horrible. Um, and then there was another guy who got caught. He climbed the bloody high touches in like shorts and trainers and stuff, which is unbelievable. He was, he was all right though. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I forgot to do the Florida man. I've just typed in Florida man with my birthday, August 2nd. And this is the first one that popped up on August 2nd. Florida man jailed after dispute over hedgehog leads to armed confrontation. <laughs> Let me know what yours are down in the comments. I'm quite, I love this sort of thing. So stick it down in the comments what your Florida man and birthday brings up on the internet. Anyway, have a great day. Peace.